Greetings, soon-to-be Gunscape Grandmasters. It's Luke from Blowfish Studios here. To celebrate the release of Gunscape on Switch, I'm going to give you guys a quick updated rundown on how to create and publish a level inside Gunscape. By doing so, you and your friends will be able to join and experience whatever it is that you want to create or have created in this world. So let's go for it. Alrighty, so once we're at the main hub here in Gunscape, all we need to do to create a new level is we hit build, we go to start build, down the bottom here we hit create new map, we hit edit map, and this is where we get to do a little bit of customization. If you're going to be playing online with a bunch of friends and building a world with them, leave it as online, pick whichever server you know is closest to you, has the lowest ping. But if you're like me, going to be building on your lonesome, we change it to offline. Then we hit OK. It's going to think about it for a second. It's going to create our world. And there we go. Here is our very empty, very sad little level. But it's ready for us to do whatever we want with. Alrighty, now that we're in, let's go over some basic Gunscape controls. So for movement, similar to an FPS. If you're on keyboard and mouse, it is WASD and your mouse will move the camera. If you're on console, it'll be your two analog joysticks. To place blocks on PC, it is left click. To remove blocks on PC, it is right click. And on console, it will be your triggers, respectively. To change planes, move up and down on PC, it is E and C. And on consoles, it is using your D-pad up and down. The same thing, by using your D-pad, you can scroll through the blocks that we've selected up the top. On PC, it's just scrolling through with your mouse wheel. Or you can press your one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're the kind of basic controls that all we really need to create a level. We're just gonna keep it pretty basic, get through some, some quick little, you know, quick little housework sort of stuff, you know. So let's start making something cool. So these are our spawn points. To keep it simple, we're probably just gonna get rid of these for the time being. But if you're making an FPS with other guys, this is where the red team will spawn. This is where the blue team will spawn. We'll just grab a single little spawn point for the time being. You can press tab on PC to bring up your block collection. You can do the same thing on Switch by pressing the minus buttons or the menu button on your other consoles. So what you can do here is you can select some blocks to put into your inventory and then you can just run with it. So we can create, you know, temple wall. We'll go with a base first, then we'll go with a wall. Then we can grab some sort of like floor. So this guy looks pretty sweet for a floor. That guy looks pretty dingy. Then we can get some foliage and some more foliage. So we can create some pretty basic cool stuff with just this. So we know that this is the middle of our stage, right? So to keep it simple, we can just build off the middle of our stage like this, right? So we'll go up, up. So that there is gonna be the exact middle. So we can just build out from there, right? Cool. So we've got our nice little starting point and we can build some temple walls on one side. Temple wall, temple wall, temple wall, temple wall, temple wall. How nice, right? We go up. So you can see as well, you can keep continuing with that aesthetic. You've got the, the base of the temple wall there and then you've got the actual wall there. Make it look rather large and in charge. And we can do the same here, right? And you can stack them up. Easy, cool. We've got a nice little just stage here. Cool, right? Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. So what we can do now is you can hit escape. You can save your map. And what we can do is we can test the map. Now there isn't much here to start, sure, but we've only been customizing for like 10 seconds. But look at that. We're in here, this is our level. See, we spawned right on our spawn point. We've got our nice wall and terrifying void. Ta-da! There it is. Cool. So we've got a nice little level there to start. Right. We respawn right on our spawn point. One cool thing that I'd like to add is that you can get rid of this terrifying void. You can add a background. So if you head over this way and you go to Skybox, you can pick what shows in this uh, terrifying void. So of course we're kind of going with that, you know, that jungly sort of look. This looks kind of sweet. So now we've got a bit of atmosphere going, you know, it's pretty sweet. All right, I'm just going to build some stuff and y'all can just deal with that. So I'm going to just build things. You know, just build things. So let's let's do the building. Let's 
Let's make a few rooms. It might be nice. You can come down now. You don't need to do that. Temple wall base. Temple wall, temple wall. Temple wall, temple wall. Just keep building things. Right. Nice little... Cool, right? So we can also add nice little doors. A little nifty trick. You can toggle no clip as well. Straight through the wall. Woohoohoo! Alright. Now, little bit of ambiance. I do like to add the torches. We can add a little bit of vegetation, a little bit of this, a little bit of rockies. I could show you guys how the doors work with the pressure pads. We can get into that as well. So I get a little bit complicated. What we should do will create this sort of look. And what you can do is you can toggle these on, start them enabled, and that should be fine. So it means start enabled, they will turn on. Perfect. I like to make sure things are even. Yo, Ethel. You ifu. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, we can also do this sort of cool stuff. You can use R to rotate a block. Let's get up there, see where that's going. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Ah, 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 perfect. And what we can do is we can add pressure plate. Let's add it right there. So the way this is going to work, we want it to start disabled, trigger channel one, and we'll save it. Then what we'll do, we're going to change these guys to trigger channel one as well. Okay, so we'll go through that. Now you don't have to make it this big. I'm just doing a grand scheme of things. Start, enable, save. Save. Let's map, you can test. Hey, and now we have a super epic sliding door that as soon as you get off this trigger plate, gets off. So as long as they're all on the same trigger, pressure plate, doors move. Nice. So we move in. Look, this is our sweet dungeon. Apparently I left a brick there. That's fine. I meant for that to be there. And then, once we have that, you know, you can expand it into whatever you want. I have to get rid of this brick because it's annoying me. We can put in a bunch of stuff. You know, we can put vegetation around, just in random spots to make it look cool, you know. We can get the rocks back, get the rubble. Another cool thing that we can add is weapons. Let's start with a bow. Let's give ourselves a bow. So let's say we're doing it like a classic game. Right. We get the bow right here before we go anywhere. Another thing you can do and should do is add ammo. You can find all your ammo right here. Right. So let's add in some large ammo for ourselves. We can also Add in, go back to two rockin'. Add in some little, little raptors. Just to fight. Little, little bad guys. Okay, cool. So simple, but cool, right? Let's test them out. Now, obviously you guys can get way more complicated when you spend a lot more time. Pick up the bow, we've got the bow. We can pick up our ammo. 
We're going to go into the big bad room. Uh-oh, raptors. Uh-oh, raptors. We dealt with those bad boys. You guys get out of here. I'm done. And that's it. And that is how you create a little raptor killing simulator. You guys can build whatever you want. And when you do, please, please send your awesome levels to Blowfish Studios so we can play them on live stream. That'd be awesome. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoy Gunscape. And like I said, share your levels with us so we can play them on live streams. Cheers. Have a good one. Bye. Boo! I'm back. I forgot to say things. But guess what? Gunscape is out now on Nintendo Switch. So make sure you head over to the eShop and grab it, pick it up. And the Gunscape you know and love is still available on PC and all available consoles. So make sure you check it out. And like I said, send us your levels so I can have a go. All right. I'm out this time, for real. Ta-ta.